Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, verehrte Gäste aus aller Welt, ich begrüße Sie alle sehr herzlich. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests from around the world, I would like to welcome you to Bonn and thank Deutsche Welle for inviting media representatives from all over the world to the banks of the Rhine River once again. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate Deutsche Welle on yesterday's launch of its new English language television news program. This is an important step in ensuring Deutsche Welle's place among the world's leading independent international broadcasters. Auf Medien und Außenpolitik debattieren. Sie, die Sie At this year's Global Media Forum, you will discuss the effects that digitization is having on media and foreign policy. You who report on foreign policy are increasingly under pressure to raise your click rates. Not even foreign policy itself is free from this trend. If you want lots of clicks, you need one thing above all, lots of new photos and fast. Social networks make the distance from a mobile phone camera to living rooms all over the world very short. Unlike the avalanche of images from crisis regions, the methods of conducting foreign policy may seem slow and old-fashioned. From the conflict in Ukraine to the Iranian nuclear program, diplomacy takes time and involves long days and nights of tough negotiations to find compromises. And very seldom do these result in fascinating photos. It can take months or even years to reach acceptable agreements. Compared to the waves of dramatic pictures in the Internet and on the evening news, it often appears that the international community is incapable of reacting quickly enough. But foreign policy must not be tempted to respond with supposedly quick and simple solutions. We must continue to seek diplomatic initiatives patiently and resolutely, regardless of how much time and effort this takes. Mit Beharrlichkeit und Geduld müssen wir immer wieder die diplomatische Initiative suchen. That doesn't mean that social media channels don't also offer diplomats fantastic new opportunities too, such as a means for politicians, citizens and experts to exchange views. I like to avail of this opportunity myself on a regular basis. For example, on my Facebook page, I read the comments posted there almost daily, not always with pleasure, but I almost always gain something from them. Lese ich fast täglich und ich gebe zu, nicht immer nur zu meiner Freude. By the way, the Federal Foreign Office has also used social media for a long time. To date, over 100 German missions abroad across the globe have their own Facebook pages, and more than 50 of our embassies and consulates use news channels such as Twitter. Web 2.0 is thus invaluable as regards expanding the number of diplomatic tools traditionally at our disposal. However, it cannot replace these tools any more than it can replace the need for high-quality journalism, whether online or on paper. With that in mind, I hope you will all have many exciting discussions about media and foreign policy at this year's Global Media Forum.